One of the more interesting developments over the last few years in astronomy is the realization that our solar system is not some isolated backwater, as it used to generally be seen, but rather a dynamic part of the Milky Way galaxy, actively taking part in the mix, so to speak, and actively exchanging material with other star systems. Part of this mix is the recent discovery of the asteroid Oumuamua, which is thought to be of interstellar origin. See my videos on this channel for more on that along with two comets that are suspected to have been captured by the solar system at some point. And now we have yet another candidate for an interstellar asteroid, and unlike Oumuamua which is flying at breakneck speed on its way out of the solar system, this one has been captured. In a paper by F. Namunian and Morais, link below, they report that the roughly 3 km wide asteroid known as 2015 BZ509 may be of interstellar origin but not recently so, having been captured as long ago as 4.5 billion years during the formation of the solar system. Discovered using the PanSTARRS telescope, the same one that spotted Oumuamua, this asteroid has some very weird orbital characteristics. Firstly, it's in a retrograde orbit, meaning it orbits in the opposite direction of most of the things in the solar system. Secondly, it orbits at the same speed, and in the same orbit, as Jupiter, just retrograde, meaning it misses the planet through a complex dance they do together. It's thought it will not actually hit Jupiter for at least a million more years, leaving us plenty of time to mount a mission to study it. By tracing the orbit back in time, they determined that the asteroid's orbit hadn't changed in 4.5 billion years, suggesting that it had to be of interstellar origin because that's too early for other methods of creating retrograde orbits to have happened. It's not inconceivable that objects from that time period might have been exchanged between star systems. The Sun was brand new at the time, and still a member of a cluster of stars that formed with it, so the object could be related to any of those stars. While it's not yet confirmed to be of interstellar origin, this new asteroid shows that objects from outside the solar system are likely not rare, and a veritable geological sampling of the galaxy might be located on our doorstep. And there's the possibility of something more, Strange anomalies in the orbits of distant objects at the far reaches of the solar system seem to suggest that one, or possibly two, large, undiscovered planets may be out there. If that's the case, it's entirely possible that one of them might turn out to be an entire planet from another star system. But the door swings both ways. I find myself wondering if material from early in Earth's history might have been knocked out into space and somehow ejected from the solar system billions of years ago. Perhaps alien scientists have found such a thing in their travels of the galaxy and wonder where this strange rock, seemingly bearing traces of long dead microbes, came from. Thanks for listening, I am futurist and science fiction author John Michael Godier, currently worried about the dinosaurs. What if it was one of these interstellar freeloader asteroids that took them out? There's probably no way to determine that, but if I were a bird I'd certainly be eyeing the Milky Way suspiciously. Looking out at the backyard though, they don't seem to be. Just a bunch of pecking around for worms. Complacency, I tell you, complacency, and be sure to check out my books at your favorite online book retailer and subscribe to my channel for regular in-depth explorations into the interesting, weird, and unknown aspects of this amazing universe in which we live.